afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stocks. What should I be here to review CYH? This was a tough one today. Why? Because it had a short in it, and I didn't get the short entry in it, and then I did short it, and then I was up in it, and I didn't get out with the profit. So I actually got stopped in this. Now, let me go over it. But I was up in it. Oh, gosh, is that bothersome? So here we have the stock opening, rallying up. I did not like this rally. I didn't like it for a lot of reasons. It kind of was a sign that it wasn't going to work right on the day. But when it fell hard here, then I said, okay, fine. Let me take another look at this. And I did write it this morning. It was a valid watch. But I didn't get this move, which actually was the only move of the day that really was a short move that had any risk to reward in it. Okay, because this is a good drop okay 80 plus cents or whatever when this rally back in here and held i saw it rally back in here i took half size dropped got stopped out but i liked this before then it wasn't crazy about this this was kind of wild and whippy today these health cares can be that way then i watched it watched it watched it i reshorted it it broke hard actually I reshorted it here it broke hard I was up. This looked great to break the low, came on down here, literally eight cents from the low. I should have taken some off, but I didn't. This, this, ugh, this was a move, but no, nope, I didn't get out of any of it. I told some people in the room to get out. Some people did get out of some of it. You could have gotten out of half. I didn't. I didn't because I really thought it was good and was going to break the low. Looked good in the five minute chart too. Anyways, flipped. Boom. So I was up in this, you know, it was less than 30 cents, but I still was up in it and I didn't get out of any of it. I don't think I was being, you know, overly aggressive in this either because at the time of the day when this dropped, where did this set the low? The market was red. Well, the market's at the low of the day at 10, and this was at 10.10. 10. Yeah, so, but at the time of the day, you didn't know that was really the market low. But here's what happened with the flip. But you see here, this looked really good, and then it flipped. But I will tell you, this chart is still lower. But I was up in this today and didn't get out of it with profit. That's life. Chart's still lower. In fact, this is a great watch for tomorrow. If this opens anywhere and holds $15 tomorrow, it's a short. And it will eventually break this area here at 12.86 which if it had today, it would have fallen off the planet, but it didn't. So this I took a stop and did I took a loss and did it? There's nothing I could do. I was up money in it too. That very often happens. A lot of times I'm up money and stuff and I don't get out of it because I'm looking for more of a move. You know, I did tell the room they could take some out or half out. Sometimes I get out of half of something, but I just felt like that was so close to the area. And at the time, like I said, the market was red, but this didn't follow through. If tomorrow this opens, Holds $15, it's a good short for a flip around, for a reversal, okay? Because this is still a good short in the long-term trend. But today, it had one short move, which was difficult to get right out of the gate. Did the second one, and then it just never broke the low. So this is CYH. This is Melissa Armin with a stock swoosh. This is a watch for a long-term trade to be lower, or tomorrow if it holds $15. It could open neutral and fall and reverse and break and you're waiting for it to break 13. 13 dollars is really that area that hard hard area that's got to get through have a great night everyone email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want more information on the golden gap course next class is may 14th and 15th have a good day everyone